Shiz Whack. What's going on guys? Shiz here, back with another Shiz Whack and his backpack. This would be episode three. I'm about to embark on expedition number one. Let's call it an expedition. What is it? A one night camping trip, I guess. But I'm doing it alone. I've never done one alone. I've never camped in the middle of the woods alone. So here it is. I'm very excited, kind of nervous at the same time. I don't usually do this. I'm a PC gamer just like you. And this is a little fucked up for me, but uh, let's do it. You can see here that I'm driving. Um, this is super fucking illegal. I've got the camera in my one hand, hand on the wheel. Uh, I gotta keep this short, so just want to let you know that I'm on my way. I'm gonna check in with you when we get to the entry point. And look at all these cool words. Entry point, expedition number one. Like, I'm a fucking adventurer, right? No, not yet anyway. Anyway, just wanted to let you know that all is good. It is happening, and I will talk to you soon. All right, guys, so I've been walking down this dirt road. This would be the point of entry. Now, I remember when I was growing up, there used to be a trail just to the right of that sign. And that's where we'll be hiking into. All right, and here it is. So I'm gonna walk it up here. See, I don't even know what's up here anymore. Maybe this won't even work out, but I'm going to give it a go. I'll check in with you soon. Mind the wind. Might not sound too pretty in the mic. Windy as fuck. Well, Fuck this idea, guys, for in here anyway. I've got another spot, but you'll see every single way you can go has a private property sign, no trespassing. Trespassers will be prosecuted, etc., etc. So, fuck, back the other way. Here we go, new spot. All right, new spot, gonna go in here. This path is new, I know that. I did some hunting in here uh, last year. I actually know the people who own this, so I'm just gonna hike in, see what's what, and uh, go from there. Now, finding this uh, spot is proving to be a little more difficult than I thought. Um, still looking, and we're about, I'd say, an hour later. But um, I came across somewhere where I hunt, and I want to show you guys this bit of a surprise here. I knew it was here, but I made a point to walk back to this because I wanted to show it to you before I continue. Took my pack off here because it was getting crazy. But uh, this is basically a treehouse that my best friend's father made, and it's a sight to behold. Um, I'm going to give you just an outside shot. The inside's a little messy right now because it hasn't been used in quite a while, but uh, check it out. It's quite some craftsmanship. Isn't it? Wood stove in it way it was put together is just amazing. Front balcony. Anyway, thought it was worth a, a view. I'm going to continue from here, keep going deeper into the bush. It's getting thick. So the amount of deer tracks here is insane. Now you'll see here, 
straight ahead. That's a trail that they made on their own. And I'm going to follow that for a bit. See if it gets me to a clearing or some water. I would like to set up beside water. So let's give that a go. So far, so good, guys. I'm uh, getting pretty deep in into the woods here. And uh, it's pretty fucking wet. I'm still on that deer trail, but I think it's just too wet. So I see some cedars over there. I'll show you. And it should be a bit drier in there. So I think I'm at least going to uh, walk along the border of the cedars. You'll see it's so wet in here. And you know, the dampness makes the bugs brutal too. So to the cedars. Holy fuck. I'm way the hell in and I can't find water. So I guess I either keep going or go back to where, remember that wet area I walked by because it's so fucking dry in here and I'm not starting a fire unless I have water close by. I'm getting pretty tired too. This fucking pack is a beast and I'm not used to carrying it. I'm only used to carrying a uh, mouse. Well guys, I think this is it. We got some nice water here. Enough if I had to uh, put out a fire in a hurry, I could. Also the ground, as dry as it may look, it's actually uh, quite damp. So I'm going to get a nice bedding of sorts down before I pitch the tent. Luckily I have a uh, footprint for the tent, so the uh, dampness shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm going to set up and I'll turn this back on once I do so. I like this spot. It's going to be good. Nothing beats these. Nothing. You're clearing shit. You're not ruining your axe. You're not ruining your knife. You're not chopping at the ground. That is awesome. Easy. Fucking break time. I packed this because it was light. <sighs> Bugs want to eat it. It's a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. It's different. Not bad. Well guys, after a long day's fucking work, Jesus Christ, that was a lot of work. Clearing and 
just getting everything set up. I swear I've been working at this for probably four hours. Anyway, I want to show you what I have done. I pitched the tent. Uh, I've got a spot ready for a fire, which I haven't started yet. But uh, yeah, got my food strung up in the tree. I'm just, I got to relax. It is time to relax. That's what I came out here to do. And that's what I'm going to do. So check it out. Got a nice safe little fire spot right here. Just a uh, barrier from anything dry over that way, but basically it's all swamp over there. I got a spot that's dry enough where I can make, here's my water. Um, it's a good spot for a fire, given how dry it is. And just my fucking mess of everything. There's my tent. And then you'll see way in the distance there, there's a green bag hanging. That is my food. I took it away from camp, just marked it with ticker tape in case I have to find it in the dark. And that is it. I'm going to relax. Got some firewood. Got this all cleared out. Cleared for the tent. And I put the tent over here because um, I was finding it was too low, closer to the fire. I wanted it higher. It is supposed to rain tonight, so we'll see how that holds out. Seems to be a pretty uh, dry patch. And the bugs are fucking brutal. Fire's going. Water's boiling. I use my purifier on this shit, but. Oh, there. That should do it. It's not quite boiling yet. Because that is for my supper. Pro pack. Delicious meals. Anytime, anywhere. Freeze dried chili macaroni with beef. Awesome. My fucking arms from today. Dude, that was just from clearing. Anyway, time to relax. I'm gonna kick back, enjoy some chili beef macaroni. Probably be going to bed nice and early. It's dark, it's quiet, and I'm loving it. Till tomorrow. Love you guys. Shizwack out. Well, guys, there we go. Success. Now, it's fucking freezing out here. Um, slept really well. I just... God, I look like shit right now. <laughs> I'm just like, I just woke up, packed my fucking shit up. I was going to make some coffee, but it's cold. I think it's like three degrees or maybe six at the highest anyway right now. But uh, I basically just packed all my shit up and I'm going to head it back because I couldn't even, uh, in my tent it was okay, outside of my tent it it's just too damp and too cold. My hands feel like they're going to fall off and I'm just going to get the fuck out of here for now. But it was a good night. I had a blast. Can't wait to put this together, make some edits and uh, show you guys what I got. Alright guys, just on my way home I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking by me this time, and uh, I made it. No disasters, no forest fires, no bear attacks. It was all good. So, uh, aside from waking up and nearly freezing to death, not freezing to death, but you know what I mean. Uh, it was all, everything, no complaints. It was fucking awesome. I had a great time. I was at peace. And uh, I just want to, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking by me. I gotta put this phone down now because I'm driving and I've got people behind me and they're probably wondering what the fuck is this guy doing, but um, I'll talk to you soon. Time to get home and work on some edits. Stay tuned for episode four. I will be doing another trip very soon. I'll see you then. Thanks guys. Peace.